Hey guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, likes, and watch this video. So if you are interested when it comes to math problem solving and with solution, this video is already here. Okay, so if you are taking the board exam for math, science, as well as the engineering board exam, math problem exam, teacher's board exam, you can subscribe this video. Let's have problem number one. This is problem number one. 4 times 10 to the negative 5. What will be our uh, answer? A, negative 40,000. B, 200. C, 0 0.004, 0 0.004, and E, 0.20. So we know that this equation satisfied or the formula for A times 10 to the P power. So A is for the constant and B is for the power. Okay, let's try to erase this one. We know that 4 times 100,000 is A is also the same as 4 times 10 to the negative 5, right? So we will change this one to... 0.00004123455 and the answer is letter D. You count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be the best answer for number 1. Okay, let's have number 2. Number 2, this is the problem solving. More on probability. Let's try to erase this one again. Okay, there are 15 balls in a box. Eight balls are green, four, four are blue, and three and white. What is the probability of blue, blue ball, and white from the back? So, again, the probability should be add all the balls. So, eight plus four. Eight plus four is 12 plus three, which is equivalent to 15. And we need to combine the blue. So, 8 is for the green. Blue, uh, 4 is for the blue. And then 3 is for the white. So, we add 4 plus 3 is 7. The answer is 7 over 15. So, this is blue and white. Okay, again, for number problem number 3, let's go this one. Okay, let's try to erase this one problem. If the length of rectangle is 3 times its width, if the width of the rectangle is 5 inches, what, the, what is the rectangle's area in a square inch? So we know that the area of rectangle is length times the width length times the width we say that this is if the width is 5 we need multiplied by 5 so 3 times 5 is 15 15 times 5 will be 75 so 3 times the width so the answer is 75 and the answer is letter D so meaning this is letter D so this is problem number 3 Let's proceed for the problem number four. Okay, let's try to this one. Again, angle A is an acute angle, and a sine A is 1140. What's the value of cosine A? We need to erase this one again. Again, let's try to read. Angle A is an acute angle, and sine A is 1114. What is the value of cosine A? Okay, again. We know that we need to understand the Soka, Soka Toa. Okay, this is sine opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then opposite over adjacent. So first, we need to again study again the Pythagorean theorem. We know that this is the angle so sine which is 
14 over 11. Hypotenuse and the opposite side. What will you do in order to know the cosine if this is the cosine? So again, which is uh, C squared, A squared plus B squared. We know this is 14 squared plus the A squared, which is the 11, and then plus B squared. So we know that 14 times 14 is 196 is equals to 121 plus B squared. We know that the B squared is what? B squared is 196, 196 minus 121. What's the answer? B is equals to square root of 75. So we know the square root of 75 is 3, what is square root? So 20, 75 is also the same as 5 times 5 times 3. So 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 3 is 75. So it means to say 5 square root of 3. This is our the opposite and our hypotenuse, or sorry, this is already our adjacent. This is the adjacent. And the hypotenuse is 14. So the answer, 5 square root of 3, the answer is letter, what's the answer? 5 square root of 14. So the answer is number, letter C. So this will be our answer. 5 square root of 14. So, first you need to all understand the Sokotoa and the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's have number 5. Let's try to erase this one. Okay. What is the slope of the line is 4x is equals to negative 3x plus 8. So know that slope of the line is y is equals to mx plus b. And with the satisfied equation, so we transpose. So we have given negative 4x will be, uh, sorry, 3y. focus in the camera so 4x negative 3y plus 8 again let's have this one so we change this y negative 4x plus 8 and we divide by this 3 by 3 so y so y is equals to negative 4 over 3x plus so the answer is 4 over 3 sorry it's negative 4 over 3 so this will be our answer the answer is letter C so we need to study the slope equation which is also or slope at the line y m x plus b okay let's have this one Another problem. Let's have number six raised. Okay, which of the following is, is equal to square root of five? A fifteen by five square root of three, C nine square root of five, three square root of five and three. So again. We need to erase this one again. So when we speak about 45, think of the number that is uh, 9 times 5 is 45. And then 1 times is 45 is 45. Right? So which is the one? This is already the perfect squared. So 
we need this one as 5 so 45 and we we'll change this one 3 square root of 5 so this will be the answer and our answer should be letter D 3 square root of 5 okay let's have number 7 let's have number 7 erase again Okay, this is the problem. Which is the smallest value? Which is the smallest value of x that satisfies the equation x times quantity x plus 4 is equals to 3? All you have to do is to write again the answer. So, x plus 4 is equals to 3. So, x squared plus 4x. And this is negative 3, sorry. So, again, we transpose this one to positive 3 is equal to 0. So, think of the formula for this one in order to get this satisfied equation. We need to also uh, look for the quadratic equation. Again. So, factoring is also the best. We can also use the quadratic formula and as well as the completing the square. So think of the product x plus, sorry. So x plus 1 and then x plus 3. So 1 times is 3, it's 3. 1 times 1 plus 4 is 4. This is already the factoring, and we know it. We will transpose this will become negative one and negative three. So which is the smallest? I think the smallest is negative three. So the answer is letter E. So the answer is letter E for number seven. Okay, let's have number eight. Okay, for number 8, which of the following integers is nearest to 20, square root of 2100 divided by 7? So, again, the problem is 2100 over square root of 7. We know that 21 divided by 7 is 3 and 300. Think of the number that can multiply. We know that this is 17 times 17 is 289. And 289 is the nearest among these three. So the answer is letter B. Because 150 is 150 is bigger. 43 is bigger also. 30 but 3 times 3 is 9. So the answer is letter E. Okay, let's have number 9. Okay, this is the problem. Let's try to erase this one again. Okay, this is the given. 